Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is an exciting collab with the beautiful Amanda of Beauty and Recovery. Um, I'm so excited for this. I love Amanda. I will link all of her, her channel, her video, her Instagram in the description box below and I highly recommend you check her out. So we decided to collab using the Certify Affinity 2 palette and she looks like this and just to make things a bit different we decided that one of us would use the top half of the palette <laughs> and the other one will use the bottom half of the palette and uh, if you know me then you will know I chose the bottom half because it's green and I love green so let's get right on into this. The first colour I'm going to go in with, because I want to use the more grungy colours, is Alba, which is this shade here. And this one is, oh crikey, I'm going to go just in and above my crease, like creating my almost fake crease. So yeah, Amanda's channel, um, she focuses on mental health and makeup. Um, which I think is fantastic because especially in the times we're in at the moment mental health is a a big concern I'm just going to wing that out slightly and Amanda's story is so inspiring um, the name Beauty and Recovery probably gives you an idea but seriously go check her out watch her backstories and her makeup is fantastic. She does a lot of cut creasey styles. Um, I believe that's mostly over on her Instagram. Um, I believe she posts pretty much every day on her Instagram. She's very consistent. And it was actually on Instagram that I met her. I said met. <laughs> Virtually. And uh, I just found her to be such... A really down-to-earth lovely person with a great eye for colour and so I asked her if she wanted to collab with me and fortunately for me she said yes so here we are I've only played with this palette once off camera so this will be the first time that you guys will be seeing it And I did use more of the blues, I believe, when I did that. But anyways, I wanted to play with these murkier greens. So I'm just taking that up higher and looking forward to see where I want that. So I want to give it room to blend it out. But firstly, I just want to get this colour down. This is such a beautiful kind of swampy green. I don't know how else to describe that. Yeah, like a swampy green. Beautiful. So I'm just taking a fluffier brush from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics just to go in and blend out those edges. So everything I have on my face... Um, all the makeup and my jewellery will be listed in the description box below for if you wanted to check any of that out. This green is just absolutely gorgeous and it is blending out beautifully. Look at that. Yeah, I'm really loving how that's looking. So the next colour I'm going to be going into is Shazad. I'm going to be using that on the outer V and very low in the crease just to uh, get some depth there. Like I said, I just wanted to go for more of the, the murkier greens. I feel like I do a lot of brighter green looks. So I just, these colors were just calling my name. So yeah, just dragging that ever so gently into the lower part of my crease there. Not too high because I do not want to lose that beautiful 
Alba, the first groom we put on there, because it is such a beautiful colour, which I would say is pretty unique to my collection. I'm not getting any issues with fallout. Oh, look at this. That is such a beautiful colour. I'm just going to take a bit more of Alba um, just to go over those edges again. Blending it out as I go. I'm liking how that's looking so far. I'm going to quickly nip off and pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then come back to continue with you. Okay, so the Glitter Primer on, I am going to be going in with is it Shuheib. I'm butchering these names, I know I am, and I'm terribly sorry, but this is the colour I'm going to be going in with on my lid. So Amanda lives in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the USA oh my god this is beautiful so she has the access the easier access to the like US indie brands which makes me jealous and I obviously have the easier access to the UK indie brands um, which uh, I believe Amanda's pretty jealous of I seem to see that a lot so many people like from other countries are like oh, you're so lucky living in the UK you can get all of these amazing UK indie brands and yes I completely agree so lucky but the USA has some amazing indie brands too and it's not that they're difficult to get hold of as such some are um, but it's more that not only do you have to pay for the products and shipping but there is also customs to be paid this looks absolutely stunning i am getting a little bit of fallout but that's wiping away easy enough so yeah man's are on her channel she's another lover of indie brands um which i appreciate and uh through watching her channel I've discovered a couple that I'd like to try um, one being Lily Posh you know Amanda does love that brand and uh, yeah I'm intrigued I can't go over this color this, this color is absolutely stunning it's got a real shift, like a brownie green to green. I think there's either a cat or dog trying to get in my room. I'm not quite sure which one, but they can wait. Because we are filming. So yeah, Certify is a UK indie brand. The first palette I tried from them was the Tropical Wonders. And there is a video on that already so i'll link that up here or down there one or the other maybe both depends how i'm feeling <laughs> um but i was so impressed with the formula that tropical wonders is a completely all matte palette which i'm coming to quite appreciate just purely because i have some amazing singles shimmery singles and glitters that it just gives me that push to use those yeah anyways like i was saying on amanda's channel she does a lot of reviews get ready with me's and um, hauls favorites there's a bit of everything on there and also obviously she's uh done a handful of videos on her background story which honestly it's inspiring just to see how how much she's turned her life around and it's just doing amazing I have so much respect for her oh, this color is the bomb so for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go into Shazad and then into Alba. The same as on the top, just to pair them up a bit. 
So just taking a little bit of shizad and just dragging that under the eye there. I just can't get over how beautiful these colours are. They perform so well. It's so easy to blend and there's so much depth. And just, oh, they're amazing. So if you like cut creasy looks with liner, Amanda does a lot of that over on her Instagram. And like I said, she uploads, I think pretty much every day. So for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with Chaffe. No idea if I'm saying that correctly. So again, apologies if I am not. So just going to be placing that. Oh, wow, look at that. Well, that definitely added something. Wow. And just dragging just ever so slightly up there. Just want to make the look a bit more cohesive. Oh, wow. Look at that. Love it. And then just a little bit of that on the brow bone there. Beautiful. I am absolutely loving this. Loving it. So what I'm going to do is nip off, finish my face, and then I will come back to show you the finished look and to say goodbye. So don't go anywhere. So I'm back with the finished look. What do you think? Oh, I love these grungy greens. They just look so beautiful, right up my alley. So I'll just let you know quickly what else I've popped on my face and then we will move on to the palette and Amanda. So the mascara is the barium, that's how I roll. The eyeliner in my waterline is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade I have a green. The black liquid eyeliner is the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude Liquid Liner and Lash Adhesive in one. I absolutely love it. My lashes are from Makeup by Lisa. They're in the style Raven. I absolutely love these lashes and they have survived so many applications and they still look great. I have the Kiko Waterflower Magic Bronzer in the shade 01 Warm Honey. The blush I have on is from Pout and Shout. It is in the shade Juicy Lucy. And the highlighter is the Kaleidos Space Age Highlighter in Skywalker. And finally, <laughs> the lipstick is from We Makeup. It's the Ever Liquid Lipstick in the shade 10. So that is everything else I have on my face. So this is absolutely stunning. I am so happy I got to play with the greens, especially these murky ones. I really, really love that. I love that they're a little bit different, a little bit off. Um, so I can't wait to see what Amanda's done. So she has got those shades there to choose from. So I am really excited to see what look she comes out with because it's mainly blue. There is one green in there. So it could be really interesting. But honestly, guys, if you don't know who Amanda is, Beauty and Recovery, go check her out. She is awesome i love her and you will find her channel her video for this collab and her instagram linked in the description box below please 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 go give her some love she is awesome so i believe that is it from me for today so if you have enjoyed this please give me a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. I upload a lot of videos with indie brands, in particular UK indie brands a lot of the time. Um, partly because they're easier for me to get hold of. Um, but also, I love to support the UK indie brands. It's where I live. And uh, you'll see a lot of colourful makeup. I love colour so if all of that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button it would be great to have you along for the ride so thank you so much for joining me today I hope you are having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing I hope you're taking care of yourselves 
and Amanda thank you so much for collabing with me my lovely I have loved every second of it so I will see you all again very very soon goodbye